Good day everyone, it's Flourish Field, and today we're going to be doing something different. Now what we're going to be doing today is, um, we are going to be creating a, a small project, it's kind of like a dance competition in Scratch, okay? Alright, now let's, let's get started. Now I hope you all remember the Scratch online platform, which is um, scratch.mit.edu, that is still... Um, the platform I want to use to create my project. So after you've done that, all you need to do is just to click on Start Creating, and um, our Scratch project will be launched. Voila! This is it, right there. All right. So the first thing you need to do is um, to click on the Delete icon right here. I'm going to be a bit fast today uh, because I want the video to be as short as possible so that we can actually um, have fun in, in a short time. In a short time okay all right good so as usual you know the right thing to do you need to select a backdrop so come to this backdrop you click on choose backdrop and then you pick um any backdrop of your choice for this for this project i'm going to be picking concert because it's a dance project so we can actually dance on the stage so i'm going to be picking um concerts and then i'm going to be picking um Okay, yeah, I'll be picking Amina Dance. Now, this is Amina Dance. Now, I noticed that Amina Dance is a bit big. So, all I need to do is to reduce the size. So, all to do is just come to size and then um, reduce it to something like 70. Okay, I think it's okay like that. 70. Alright, so, that's Amina Dance. I could actually get another one, which is um, Cassie Dance. Yeah, Cassie Dance. Now, Cassie Dance also is there. I could redo this one to, um, to say 90. Alright, so I have um, Cassie and um, Amina We're about to have a dance competition. Now, to have this dance competition, it should be nice for us to have a dance competition without music. So, how do we make our scratch projects play music? So, come to the backdrop and click on the backdrop. We want the music to play at the back at the background. So we come to backdrop and then we click on events. Now when you click on event, you select um, when flag when flag is clicked. Remember this is an event. Um, um, it happens that um, whenever you click on this flag, whatever code you have under this event will run. So that's why we're using when flag is clicked. You could actually use when space is pressed, okay? But I, I just would go with the when flag is clicked. So when you click on when flag is clicked, it's time for us to play the music at the background, okay? So how do you play the music at the background? All you need to do is just to come to sound, sounds, and then come to this point right here that says choose a sound. So let's click on choose a sound. We have different sound. But because of the fact that we want a continuous, sound so we click on loops and then we start selecting the kind of music that we want so let's start with this no 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 all right so i think i like that yeah, kind of like all right so so probably i'm going to pick wait all right probably i pick this just for the example it means dance chill. Now I've selected dance chill already, so that means dance chill is already available for this background. So let's go back to code and then go to sound. Whatever you do in the sound right here, you need to write a code to actually execute it. So you come to sound and then you come to play sound. Now you're going to play dance chill until until it's done so so whenever i click on this green flag right here the sound will be played now let's check let's just run it and then let's see can you see that so it's telling us can you see kind of all right here yeah. all right so we notice that it played for a short while and then it stopped. But that is not what we want. We want it to continue playing 
till we stop it. So for us to do that, I'm going to introduce to you another block of code. Uh, it is called forever. Um, it's a loop. It's, it makes your code run forever until you decide to stop. So forever loop is found in control. And this is the forever loop. Can you see? It shows that it's a loop. So all you need to do is just to drag your play sound inside the forever loop. And then you join it to this. Now, whenever I click my flag now, it plays the sound forever until I press stop. All right now, let's check it again now and see. And see now, it keeps playing in the background. Now it keeps playing. You see? All right, so that's it. So that's it. Now we have a sound playing in the background. So we, it's time for us to make this tool sprite dance to the tune of the song or the music that we're playing. So you click on um, any dance and then it's time for us to show, it's time for them to show their dance skill. So how do we start? Remember, we start with an event. I would always advise you pick an event that you know it's easy. So it's easy for everyone to see, which is when flag is clicked. That's easy for everyone to click. All right. So when flag is clicked, what do we want Anidas to do? Now, what we want Anidas to do is to show us our different dance move. Now, how do we get Anidas dance move? Can we come to costumes, everyone? Oops, sorry. It's Anina dance. Let's click on Anina dance, please. And then drag when flag is clicked. All right, good. So Anina dance. So you come to costumes. And now, can you see a different dance move? You see? You see that? Now you see that. That's that's different costume. Now imagine we have all this. You see? All right. So, like so. We go back to code. We notice that this is our costume from costume one to um, thirteen. So you come back to code, and then this is what you're going to do for the costume for Anina dance, just for her to move to the music. You just come to um, forever loops, and then you drag forever. We want her to keep repeating a dance move until we stop. So you come to forever loop, and then there's something we call. There's a block of code in Scratch that we call next costume. Now, what next costume does is it will pick the next costume you have and then change it. So now let's 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 check that. Now we can find next costume in looks. So you click on looks and then you select this next costume. Now this next costume, when you click on it, can you see it? it's changing? Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? So because of this, all you need to do is just drag it and put it inside the forever loop now when you do that now let's go on and see what happens <laughs> now this is funny now she she tends to be moving so fast faster than the beat now because our programming our code is still not accurate enough so um, how do we solve that problem now, to solve that problem we we come to um, control and then we come to Wait in seconds. Now this is it. When we add wait in seconds after next, it means that whenever you change the costume to the next costume, you have to wait for some seconds. So let's use um, zero point so it doesn't look too fast. So let's use zero point zero point five seconds. So when you wait for zero point five seconds, and then you can change the costume again. You wait for zero point five seconds again. So it keeps repeating next costume and wait 0 0.5 seconds. Okay? So that forever loop allows it to keep repeating next costume and wait 0 0.5 seconds. So let's run it and see again what happens now. Can you see? Now it's more like it. But I still feel. Alright, let's stop. It's more like it, like it. But I still feel she's a bit fast because the beat is a bit slow. So can we reduce it to 0 0.25? And then let's check again now. I think she's too fast. Okay. 
I think I'm going to slow down a bit. I'm going to slow it down a bit by um, clicking on 0 0.7, I guess. Now let's check. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. You understand? Um, let me leave it to 0 0.5. Alright, so whatever I think you, you think we can do to this project to make it more fun, you can actually drop it as a comment in the on the YouTube video, and then I'm I'm, I'm going to take to your um, advice. Okay, okay, we are learning from each other, so we can actually drop ideas. I I don't mind. Okay, so that's that. So this is the dance move for Anina dance. Now to do the same for Cassie, it's obviously going to be the same for Cassie. Because we want her to change costume and then wait for 0 0.5 seconds. Instead of dragging and dropping um, the same move, all you need to do is, there's a quick way about that. Just drag your code and then make sure you select, let see, make sure you select Cassie Dance and then you drop it. Now, what this does is, it has actually replicated that code for Cassie. Can you see that? So that means we have written the code for Cassie and Anina Dance. Now, can we now check so far what we have done? Now, let's check. Can you see? <laughs> kind of like dancing and then there's a song playing. That's that. Kind of like... I'm sorry for stopping this phone, okay? But, you know, you know what? It's kind of like a fun stuff. It's simple. Uh, we just wrote um, some blocks of code and then you might actually feel it's... It's, it's just something small. But see, uh, it's good we are starting from here. Okay, it's good we are starting from here. And then uh, I promise you that just follow along with the steps. I can actually go to complex project. I feel I need to start building you up with a small project and then we, we graduate to bigger projects. And this is why this YouTube channel is different. Uh, we, are, we are taking the baby step. To, to actually make you guys understand the concept. Now, in this project, you understood about control, looping, looping a code, looping the next costume and then wait for a second. Now, this is how to loop. So, we're going to be showing you in um, videos how to implement that in high level languages like Python, JavaScript. But for now, let's just stick to um, scratch so that we can understand all the concept of programming that is sequencing looping conditional statements and um, functions and after that we are going to take you and introduce you to high level languages okay so i would advise i would want you to um, enjoy this and then while you're enjoying please i'm going to stop this video right now make sure you um subscribe Turn on your notification and then um, I'll see you in the next video. Alright? So, see you in the next video. Thank you.